coming from the same team who came up with the first part of its series, the Grand Empire Time Travel Survival. In case you missed out, there was another one in the making due for the same platform, which is PC, in the following month, going by the name Portals Apart. The game we're talking about, if you're just unfamiliar with, is a base building survival adventure game. Now it's going to be offering more variety of items, action, and some better visuals. As you know. Now, my mind is betwixt the portals. Take care not to sacrifice your being. Or as I, you will end up portals. Perfect apart. tropical nirvana, complete with sun-soaked beaches, cerulean skies, and... Okay, maybe the odd pile of trash. No longer available on early access, but coming out in the next few months, possibly July. Number two, if you miss out on, we have Critter Co. Touted by the good developers as a combination of life sim and town building games with a beautiful handcrafted open world to explore, no doubt on that. The game is set in a cozy post-apocalyptic paradise where you're tasked with restoring an old town by sailing, hunting, crafting and etc. The game is coming out on all platforms sometime later this year. Imagine the satisfaction of enjoying a relaxing wine at the beachside tavern you just rebuilt or exploring history at the town museum you've restored. Oh, and if you stumble upon a lost soul or two during your adventures, we would surely appreciate you bringing them back to our charming town. There's no quicker way to make friends than the good old rescue mission, right? The more villagers you bring back to town and the time you find to help them with quick little tasks like building them a house or helping them find a job, the more the town is going to grow. And hey, if this sounds a bit overwhelming, just remember that blushberry wine waiting for you. Criticove is launching into Steam Early Access in 2024, with PlayStation and Xbox versions later in the year. Oriental Valley, on the other hand, technically speaking, revealed around the same time last year now, went on and got another trailer recently where developers announced the game is in good shape and possibly coming out in the following months. Obviously, the game is a farming sim, what a 3D version of Stardew Valley would look like. The key feature of this game, however, is merging Eastern culture with modern life elements and hopefully live a happy life. Coming in at number 4, uh, we've got the game Outbound. Uh, technically, it's the new work of the developers who made the game Above Snakes. It's an open world, cell shaded style survival crafting and life sim set in a utopian near future where you start with an empty camper van and just turn it into the home of your dreams. You build, scavenge, craft, etc. It's just like a life sim minus the part where you actually worry about stuff on a daily basis. Number 5, we've got a game called World Shards. It's a sandbox role-playing game with a level-less progress system. 
Does that make sense? Well, as its developers promised, it's a sandbox MMORPG set in a fantasy world that consists of flying islands. Your job is just mostly exploring fragments of an ancient world, you fight wargs, and along the way find a way to restore peace. This game is coming out of PCs later this year. fantasy RPG. Manage your farm. Grow your own fruits and vegetables. That being said, Meat Light, well, fully titled Meat Light, The Secrets of the Universe, is also coming from a Kickstarter. It's described as an open world fantasy role-playing game and a reimagined life sim inspired by classics with an incredible story. It's a typical bread and butter of this genre. You grow crops, craft tools, tame animals, and befriend anything that lives. Meat Light is well funded on Kickstarter. It's about 10 times gathered its initial goal, and it's now gonna be coming out of PC, Switch, and other consoles as well in the third quarter of the year. Camp anywhere, ready to go on an adventure. Solve mysterious puzzles. Find ancient knowledge to develop your spiritual abilities. And discover the hidden side of the world. Get help from energetic beings. Befriend pets. Farm animals. And wild ones. But also unexpected creatures. Waiting for you. Meet Light and the Secrets of the Universe. Tetopia here is a Chinese based farming and life sim classic where your actions consist of planting, farming, raising, cooking, and even brewing. This one's made to deliver all the basics of a pixel art game whilst feeling fresh and modern in looks. You deal with both people and pets to get your daily tasks done and do your best to take part in a healthy community. Titopia is from a Kickstarter campaign and possibly coming out within 2024. Topia's Kickstarter campaign, I didn't mention, is still in the works. Meanwhile, Loftia, the game, has actually gathered almost 10 times its initial goal, and that's over $1.2 million of fun. And I don't know how that happened, to be frank, but I can tell you it's a MMO farming sim in nature. It has an estimated 500,000 backers right now, and is promised to deliver an experience for both newcomers and veterans of this specific Genre. Love the apps coming to pieces in Switch at the moment, late 2025.
Coming up behind that, uh, we've got a two and a half dimensional casual cozy farm simulator where your decisions have consequences. Well, a game over here going by the name Echoes of the Plum Grove. So basically in this game, what, what was promised, you decide what to plant, what to start for the winter, and who to befriend. It's a lot like Harvest Moon since the relationship building thing is a key element, especially to your story's outcome, but there's a lot of other things going on too. This game is coming to PCs exclusively later this year. At number 10, Tales of Seiku, or Seiku, is another fantasy farming sim set in this far lost land called Seiku, inhabited by legendary creatures. It's that kind of a game and story, and the town you get to live in is frequently threaded by gods, the old gods. This game is described as an enthrilling fantasy style farming sim adventure set on a very cozy fairy land, which happens to be a haven for legendary creatures from all around the world. Check it out. Coming out of a Kickstarter campaign with over five times its initial goal so far, we've got a game called Solar Punk. I'm pretty sure most of you know about Cyberpunk, well, Diesel Punk, Steampunk, and right now there's a bunch of these. It's got to be the Solar Punk's turn. Anyway, this game is touted as a cozy survival life sim set on an advanced world consisting of flying islands, like the old Chrono Trigger's floating islands setting, and it's set to be coming out of PCs only around September this year. Moving on, we've got Chill Town. Developers promise the ultimate haven for relaxation, where players can create and design their very own town on an island, where you can decorate houses engaged in lots of different activities, lots of fishing, lots of cooking, taming, and some bug catching. The actions mainly consist of that, set in a very vibrant, peaceful world. This game is also coming from a Kickstarter campaign for a while now, it's said to be coming out of pieces eventually by the end of the year.
Available on Steam through a demo, if you missed it earlier. Cozy Knots here is a little bit inspired by the game Pal World, but it's a colony sim set on the surface of a planet like Mars, and you can actually play with friends, which is where the real fun begins. Your actions in this game consist of farming, looting, and eventually building useful items and vehicles to be able to live more efficiently. This game is coming out of pieces exclusively on May 30. We just got a new trailer for it too. Moonlight Peaks, however, almost first of its own kind, is actually a gothic horror farming game where it puts you in the role of a young vampire. Where you mainly work with magic, you get to create potions, explore your powers, but meanwhile date other creatures like werewolves and stuff and tend to your vampire life stuff. This game is coming to pieces in Switch only later this year. Last but not least, it's a developer's first work that we first came about half a year ago but seems to be in really good shape and coming out by the end of the year. The Isle of Eleanor or Elaner is an open world role-playing game that features real-time combat, a strong focus on player choice and a high fantasy narrative. As developers put it, this one borrows mechanics from Dwarf Fortress, Divinity Games, Stardew Valley and even the Witcher series. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> 